Jack, it's always good to talk to someone that knows a lot about machine tools. You were heavily involved in the purchase of this Akari HMC from White House Machine Tools. Why, why is this machine sitting here, Jack? Uh, this machine sitting here, because when we look at any machine tool, it's, it, it's not buying the technology that's out there now. It's important to us as a subcontractor that we future-proof. We want to buy a machine that's able to, to be utilised in the future. So if a product comes along from a customer that says, actually, we've got this volume of production that we need you to do, it's important that we're flexible and we've got ability to expand our current sets of machine rather than saying, no, we need to purchase a new one or, or trade it in or look well, at a retrofit. Let, let's go one step further on that then. So what does this Akari machine give to you? What, what was it that you liked about it that does exactly what you're saying? It is expandable, simple, straightforward as that. You can put a new casting on the back and expand the tools from 120 to 240, which gives you great flexibility. You can leave the tools in the machine, reduce your setup time. Also expands into six pull pallet system which obviously gives you overnight running as well as day to day. So we aim to obviously expand this in the future when the vo volume of work comes through so that we can actually go, we can run four pallets at night and two pallets during the day. It gives us ultimate flexibility. So the idea behind a machine like this is you could buy it without the work, yeah. but know that if you get the work, you can expand to, uh, to fulfill that work. Absolutely, yeah, it gives, us, it gives us the ability to react to customer demand. There aren't many machines out there that you can do that with, are there? Not many, hence why the Akari sat on the floor, because we looked at different machine tools, different horizontals, like for like, in terms of costings, in terms of tooling, but you, most of them, you bought the machine as they were, or it becomes a full FMS sale, which doesn't suit us as a business. Now, you, you also looked at the machine from a, from a quality level, obviously, yeah. and you, you've got quite a bit of knowledge about how the machine's built, the construction of it, the thermal compensation element. Just tell us a few of the features that you like, maybe starting with, how it's built um, and, and the speed of it and so forth. Yeah, so absolutely. I mean, the reason we, we like this machine is, yes, it's, it's a Taiwanese machine, but they've put Japanese components on it. So they're all Fanuc drives, which we like, the ball screws. So from the construction, it was a solid cast in one piece. We like that. It's got traditional values. So not many machine tools, you get hand scraped slides these days. So they've hand scraped all the slides. They've blueprinted them, so if we wanted a record of what the slides looked like when it was brand new, we can get that. Um, so different various options that we like from a, from a manufacturing point of view. So it's quite a heavy machine then, if it's going towards those traditional values, a box guide way. Yeah, yeah, it's an extremely heavy, robust machine. Obviously it's got a big plus BT40 spindle, which we like that for pure rigidity, so it gives us the flexibility to do deep roughing cuts or high feed rates because you're clamping on base and taper effectively. Tell me a, maybe a, a deep roughing cut that you've done. Just give us an example. Uh, so we're, we are in, involved in edge cam. We, we run cam software here, so we've done a lot of waveform cutting. So, uh, for example, we use a 20 mil end mil with a 50 mil depth for cut, um, and that's the sort of speeds. And we're looking at between eight meters. And that's quite a high feed rate, but obviously a very shallow engagement. So you keep in constant engagement with a cutting tool, but protecting it so you're not shock loading it in the corners. Is it important for you to uh, use things like waveform to remove metal quickly? Absolutely. Our beauty of what we do in terms of programming is that we've got the ability to use waveform and do cam software or the ability to manually program. And that's where, where Steve on the machine, he, he's brilliant manual programmer. So whereas Edgecam will give you long code, Steve will give you direct code. So waveform is brilliant for metal removal, but sometimes the long-winded cycle, we, we utilize waveform specifically for roughing, and then Steve might manual program it for, for the finishing of the cycle. We, we talk about it being a heavy machine with a lot of stability, which you need for what the types of roughing you're talking about. The thermal growth element was something you mentioned to me as well, the fact that the ball screws are uh, have coolant running through, or they're fully lubricated, correct? Yeah. yeah, so the ball screws have got through coolant pumping through them. So not only have you got a spindle chiller to keep the spindle compensated throughout the cycle and make sure there isn't any growth in the Z-axis, it's got um, through coolant ball screws in the X and the Y as well. So it, you keep at a constant temperature, so even on your highest roughing cycles, the machine is compensating, there's no growth. And then that gives you a more accurate part. Absolutely, and that's what it's about, quality accurate parts. Do you find there's a compromise when you have a machine built in this way, in the traditional values that you say, very heavy duty, on speed? Is, there a comp is it slow? It's not slow, it's not slow. Again, against what we've got out there, this is one of our fastest machines. For a BT40 machine, obviously with a new Fanuc M controller on, 
compared with manual programming, it is a very, very fast machine. Is it reliable? Absolutely. Absolutely. It gets, as long as you maintain your equipment, you get it serviced regularly, and you utilise the knowledge of, of um, White House. How many hours are you running the machine? How many hours? We tend to run between, I'd say, 10 to 12 hours a day. Um, the machine's probably 18 months old now. Um, we've no, never had any problems. It's been serviced. Regular maintenance is the key to any good machine. White House machines will select their machines that they supply quite carefully, and they've obviously done a very good job here. Would you agree? Yeah, I agree. I, I think it is a good machine. It ticks a lot of the boxes that aren't ticked from other horizontal machine tool manufacturers. Just finally, one last question. How fast is, what is the spindle speed on this machine that you've got? 15,000 RPM. And the tool changer that you've got at the moment on here? 120 tools, but we're looking to expand that in the future. So the biggest message here is that you've got a high quality, high precision machine, which is built in the traditional values, very solid, but very fast and very practical. Absolutely, yeah, we, we really like the machine and we like the flexibility.